cart will vindicate my husband, Raman Adedoin's wife, Oluafum Lyo speaks out. Hey, hey, way. All right, let me welcome you once again. Good evening. This is K-I-N-G, the Kingdom Seven. I'm welcoming you in the very grand style to G Dynamic TV once again. Thank you for subscribing and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified anytime we post new content. This one is coming from the wife of the Mayor of Ife. Chief Raman Adade Doyi, who is the mayor of Ife, who has uh, been alleged of killing, of having a hand in the killing of Timothy Adeko Kida, MBA student of OAU. The matter has been in court for hmm, for more than a month now. And then this is the wife speaking out, Olua Fumlao by name. She said, the court will vindicate my husband. All right, there have been widespread reactions to the recent death of Timothy Adegoke, an executive MBA student of Obafemi Yawulawa University, Ife, Osho State, at the Eating's Hotel, Ileife. Hmm. The owner of the hotel, renowned educationist and businessman, Dr. Raman Adego Kiaridoni, and other accused persons in the incident are currently under investigation and will soon be arraigned in an ocean court. Adedoni's wife and founder of Chapel of Blessings Evangelical Ministry International, Prophetess Mrs. Iyabo Olua from Layo Adedoni, speaks on the incident. Hmm. According to her, she said her husband is one of the people accused of having a hand in the death of Timothy Adigoki at the Eatings Hotels owned by him. Uh, hmm, all right. She said, and as a mother, let me first sympathize with Timothy Adigoki's family. The whole incident is very unfortunate and we are sad. Everybody will die one day, one time, and somewhere he was alleged to have lodged at Hilton Hotels Leafe, which is one of the arms of my husband's businesses in Ife. Hmm, hmm. I can categorically tell you that my husband was not at Hilton Hotel on the said night. Ah, so I don't understand uh, what is now about no, the CCTV. Yes, there was CCTV proved that uh, Chief Raman entered the room of late Timothy Adegoki alongside his son Raim and his uh, P, I think, and the manager of the hotel. So now the wife is saying, My husband was not at eating hotel on the said night. All right, let's continue. He said, like I said before, I feel very sad that such an incident was alleged to have occurred at one of my husband's hotels. This is the first time something like this will happen since he ventured into the hospitality business about 21 years ago. To me, the whole thing looks like a bad dream. Some social media reports allege that my husband would have killed him for money rituals. He said, my husband did not kill Timothy Adigoki or send anyone to kill him. Hmm. <laughs> I am certain of this and I strongly believe that his innocence will be established in court in the course of his trial. I have been married to my husband for close to 40 years. He is a devout Muslim and I can confidently tell you that in all the years we have been together, he has never been involved in anything fetish or ritual. His enemies capitalized on what happened at Hilton's Hotel, Ife, to use the bloggers who specialize in destroying people's reputation to make money to smear his image. They took advantage of the sad incident at Hilton Hotels. <laughs> he, she continued by saying, all the evil plans and machinations will fail unless it was the one that killed the late Timothy Adegoki. Some of the dismissed employees of his establishment, some enemies within the fair community who have an axe to grind with him and are envious of his success, took advantage of what happened to bastardize his name. <laughs> But I don't understand the way to. He was charged with this. Okay, this is me talking. I don't know, you know, this chief was charged with unlawful interference with the dead body and tampering with CCTV cameras. And now this wife. Uh, okay, let me let me let me let me let you know what the wife is saying about the CCTV cameras and other things. He said these are mere allegations, and I believe that the court will vindicate him at the end of the day. How can someone who was not at the scene of an incident tamper with anything at the scene? My husband is a businessman and a renowned educationist with several tertiary institutions, among many other businesses. He visits each of his businesses occasionally like a tourist. He has his personal office in the house and holds most of his meetings and other official engagements in the house. He hardly spends, spends up to an hour whenever he visits any of his businesses. So my husband was not there when the incident happened and has not been there ever since. Ha! Ah! <laughs> okay, what about the allegations by bloggers and other social media enthusiasts about, like, I don't understand, this thing is becoming something, oh, oh come and look you somehow. Okay, 
She said, and I quote, Money rituals are lies and machinations of the devil. It is complete deceit, and it is unfortunate that in this part of the world, people view rich people as ritual killers. It is out of sheer ignorance that you, uninformed people, refer to successful individuals as ritual killers. We are leaving this for the courts to determine. Someone who has five thriving tertiary institutions and charges about half a million per year on each of about 5,000 students, in one of them is by all standards already very comfortable. Hmm, 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 hmm. But the late Timothy Adigoki, she, you know, he was, he was said to have paid the hotel fees into a private account. Yes, and he, he, he was said to have. This, this thing is, hmm? I believe you also have one or two comments to, to drop. You can drop them in the comment section, but please and please don't use verba, you know, don't use uh, don't do verbal words and don't don't use abusive words and don't be too 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 too. Hmm? Let me say uh condemn condemn me, please. I I trust I, I trust in you guys, I trust in you guys because yeah, it is still somehow, it is still somehow. I don't I don't understand. Did she even okay? She continued by saying the police concentrated on him investigating money ritualism as alleged by Facebook post instead of investigating the cause of the death of Timothy Adigoki. When the whole thing started, some bloggers said that they don't yet cut the body into pieces for rituals, but it was the local authority that buried Timothy Adigoki where it was dumped. Mm. She said the police invited Timothy Adigoki's family, they checked the body in the presence of pressmen and not agreed that all the body parts were intact. <laughs> <sighs> She continued by saying, after the autopsy, one of the professors said that Timothy died of trauma. The other said that the cause of death could not be ascertained. The fact remains that he died and my husband's hand is not in his death. But I'm not happy that he died because I am a mother. <laughs> hey, 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 okay, I still don't understand. I still don't understand what is going on. Now you are trying to see. The wife is saying that the court, the court will eventually vindicate my husband because he has nothing to do with the death of uh, Timothy Adegoki. And there was a CCTV, you know, CCTV proof that he did something like that. Well, God is in heaven. And uh, don't worry, the truth will be revealed very soon. I'm very sure. All right. My name is Kate to the I to the N to the G, the king himself. And I'm welcoming you on board one more time. Please don't forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified anytime we post new content. This is about Olua Fumulayo, the wife of the chief, Adidoin, who has been alleged of killing, who has been alleged of having a hand uh, in the killing of Timothy Adigoki, that master student of OEU. You know, so the court would vindicate my husband, she said. All right, let's see if, if he's going to be vindicated or not. I'm not the one to prove that. Let's just calm down and take a cup of coffee and sip and wait for the next line of action. Thank you very much.